this, of course, the first home game for Lazio since the sad passing of their former coach, the former England manager Sven Goran Eriksson, who won the Italian league title. Lazio have only won two in their history. He won one of them, won also the Cup Winners' Cup, as it was then at the end of the 90s. Important days, and they are quite rightly, Nigel, marking his passing in the in the right way. I would suggest this evening. Well, what we've seen uh, on our monitors looking at this, they're doing it really right. His shirt on the dugout on one of the seats there, Sven Goran Eriksson. Thank you, Mr. Goran Eriksson, and all those things. We're going to see them in a minute. You see, grazie, Sven. Yeah, you, ra you raised a happy child for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, is the sign there. So, yeah, obviously, lots of young Lazio fans grew up in those glory days with the Argentinian players. It was a bankrolled club, but nonetheless, it was yeah. a great time to be a Lazio fan. He made them dream brought those dreams uh, to life and the pictures tell the story yeah and wonderful success he had here and then went on to obviously manage England maybe some people would say maybe he wasn't quite as su successful as he could have been with those group of players but still did a good job but you know I think the big thing was for Sven a couple of months ago going to Anfield yeah. being a Liverpool supporters in the uh, Legends game there unfortunately I couldn't go I was working um, and out of the country but uh, you know, John Aldridge was saying to me how what a wonderful guy he was, and it was just great. He was so emotional going around Anfield, which was brilliant. And if obviously he, he's looking down tonight, this would be very emotional for people. And uh, you know, he did exceptionally well here, as you said. Might have been bankrolled a little bit, but you still got to use that money wisely, as a lot of managers and a lot of clubs know. Yeah, very true, including the two that we are about to see on the touchline this evening, following in uh, big shoes. Marco Baroni at Lazio, newly installed, and Paolo Fonseca, the Portuguese coach uh, at AC Milan, a former Roma coach as well, so he knows this ground and knows the pressures of working in the Italian capital. It wasn't a brilliant couple of seasons for Fonseca by his high standards at Roma. He hopes to do better at Milan, but uh, the pressure is already. 